for commuters in California, the price is right on a new high-tech private toll road, and there might be one in your future. Astronaut Bernard Harris, a pioneer in many ways, looks at the future of space flight. And why would your local coffee shop advertise on the internet of all places? You might be surprised by the answer. All that and more today on Future Watch. Future Watch, brought to you by IBM. Hello, I'm Donna Kelly. Welcome to Future Watch. Ads on the internet are nothing new. Some companies have been hawking their wares on the worldwide computer hookup for years. But usually, internet advertisers are trying to sell their products and services to stay-at-home shoppers who could be located anywhere in the world. David George reports from Huntsville, Alabama on internet advertising with a twist. Local merchants looking for local customers in cyberspace. People come to Five Points Espresso for the coffee. Along with the cafe au laits and tall double mochas, Five Points offers customers something extra. A chance to log onto the internet from the coffee house computer. People come in here and spend a little time. They might drink some more coffee. A few months ago, Five Points Espresso became one of the first advertisers on a website called the Virtual Times Huntsville Edition, a localized newsletter tailored to the Huntsville market. There's Alabama weather, local sports and culture, movie reviews, classified ads, articles aimed at Huntsville's large community of scientists and engineers. Entrepreneurs Larry Fullerton and John Dodd say they're not out to compete with the local newspaper. We're not trying to bring in uh, new news uh, every day and cover local events in the sense of new news every day. The newspaper does that quite well and we're, we don't uh, try to do that. What the Virtual Times Huntsville Edition does do is give local businesses like Shaver's Bookstore and Glenn's Flower Shop across the street a chance to reach a specialized audience. We have a uh, high-tech uh, clientele and probably, uh, I would say, 75 or 80 percent of the people that use us uh, have computers, home computers, and are connected to the internet. Huntsville is a high-tech town, home to NASA's Space and Rocket Center and a host of related businesses. An estimated 40,000 of the area's quarter million residents use the internet at work or at home. In Huntsville, even car dealers advertise on the internet. It's going to reach the buyer that we're looking for, which is a person that, you know, owns his own computer, does a lot of homework themselves before they come into a dealership, and I think doesn't want a lot of the rah-rah, just wants the basic essentials on how to buy a car. So, what do we have here at Huntsville? A case of advertiser overkill? An entrepreneurial fling by a couple of guys simply out to make a buck? Or, as John Dodd suggests, has Huntsville taken a step along the road toward an information revolution? Go to Beauty Warehouse and Hair Zone and ask owner John Farley what he thinks. When it comes to advertising, Farley says he's tried just about everything. Radio, cable TV, print, direct mail. And now, the Internet. And now the Internet. That's right. So, why? What, 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 what appeals to you? Well, we just felt that it was the uh, up-and-coming uh, mode of information. But the Internet has one drawback for local advertisers. Ads are seen globally, not just locally. One of the first responses to the Five Points Espresso ad came from Wisconsin. I think it's a pretty cost-effective way of getting way, way outside of your own market, even though I don't see us selling a lot of coffee in Wisconsin. <laughs> but for some local merchants, the Internet's long reach may actually pay off. Gold's Gym counts among its customers people visiting Huntsville on business. We've actually had people who've come in and um, have seen this on the net. Even the tiny hobby shop Wesley Savage runs in a converted railroad caboose has drawn customers from cyberspace. And we had two or three people in from Singapore, and they came right to the shop, and uh, they were like, I was like, how'd y'all know we were here? And they said, you're on the internet. When we visited Steve Gray's photo studio back in November, he said he hadn't been advertising on the net long enough to notice much difference. But it is, he said, only a matter of time. All we hear is the internet, the internet. We really don't know what that's going to do for us as a business, you know, proprietorship here. So we have to look at all opportunities that we can today. And you're on the ground floor of this one. Sounds like it, doesn't it? 
John Dodd predicts one day there will be hundreds of thousands of advertiser-supported websites like the Virtual Times Huntsville edition. We thought of it first, we think. Somebody else will come in and probably say no that they thought of it. But uh, we got online with it, and we're doing quite well with it, and we're expanding. And we hope to be one of the front runners uh, when, it, when it gets broad. But I think it will be a lot of these kinds of things out there, yeah. In Huntsville, Alabama, David George, CNN, Future Watch.